bleed black and gold bust forever you already know man it's your boy you know t green and i'm back with another one it was once quoted in a favorite movie of mine's friday you win some you lose some but you live to fight another day and that's exactly what we're gonna do here because we just lost two of our offensive linemen who recently committed to see you buffaloes and if you haven't heard the first one we lost which I'm not going to even lie. I didn't see this one coming, and I didn't want this one to happen. Matthew Batford from Indiana, y'all. He has made his announcements that he's decommitting from University of Colorado Buffaloes, baby, and he is going to Oregon instead. He had this to say. The Colorado organization is so amazing that I made a decision too hastily before weighing all my options. This is what Belfort wrote on Twitter, y'all. However, upon reflection, I believe that the University of Oregon aligns perfectly with my long-term goals. Oh, this is a hard one to take in, y'all, because y'all don't know. I know I mentioned this in my last video, but Pro Football Focus graded Belfort as one of Indiana's best linemen, y'all. He played out of, out of 41 games, he played 38 of them. I mean, like I said before, he played 11 times at left tackle, 10 times at right guard, 9 times at right tackle, uh, 8 times at left tackle. I mean... Jeez, dude is a beast. And I'm not going to lie, I was looking forward to him protecting for Shador Sanders because you already know we on this Heisman run. And I got another update for y'all, but we'll talk about that in a moment here. But anyway, this is going to be a, uh, a sad loss. But hey, I wish you nothing but the best. I'm not going to get on here and downplay it because at the end of the day, y'all saw the last video. I was extremely excited for this dude. Now, the other lineman we lost, which was kind of shocking, y'all. Isaiah Walker decommits from uh, Colorado. You know, this was that big, big, big dude from uh, the, he was a Juco offensive lineman and we thought he was headed to Boulder, y'all. But he has recently uh, decommitted. Now, check this out, though. Bill O'Bow, our old offensive lineman coach, he was the one who was, you know, recruiting him and, and telling him to come out there to see you Buffaloes. But we know that he recently left with Sean Lewis to go where? You already know, San Diego State. So it's not a huge surprise that Walker, you know, decided, hey, it's not going to work out for me. I'm not coming to, you know, Bill gone. You know, you got a new offensive line coach. Even though this new offensive line coach going to be a true dog because he played at the NFL level. He's going to coach better. Yeah, he is whatever. I'm not going to go into all the details because this is what it is. We lost Duke. We lost him. You know, at the end of the day, he was 6'5", 290 pounds straight out of Miami. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was home team, man. I was excited to see him come because, I mean, Miami right up the road from me. So, you know, anybody coming out of the great state, uh, I almost said Texas, out of the great state of Florida, baby, with these good oranges we got, you know I'm rooting for you. So <sighs> that was another loss, though. But, you know, it is what it is, man. He going out to Texas State, like I said. He going to be part of the 2024 class. I wish him nothing but the best. At the end of the day, let's be real when I say this. We just brought in a whole bunch of linemen so at the end of the day you know hey if you see the competition is gonna be fierce you know what i mean you may not get that starting position that you thought you was gonna get because you know at the time that he committed it was way back in october you know what i mean so things done changed you know hey we really did need them because we was gonna get rid of this offensive line the current offensive line you know and a lot of those guys have departed um but you know what? It is what it is. Like I keep saying, uh, Walker has two years um, left on the book. So, man, go out there and shine in Texas, though. But, whew, that was a lot to take in. You already know the motto. You already know the motto, man. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe. Tune in with your boy, you know, T Green. I'm going to be right back with another one.